Hello, hello, hello. Can you believe it? We are rushing through July again. Okay, we might as well get used to it. That's all we're doing. We're just rushing through things and going through things and the days are going by and we learn new things and learn about people. But the word is focus. Focus on what you're doing and your progress, right? Your progress, not your goal. Work on the progress. What am I getting finished? What am I getting done? If you're doing small savings challenges, how many are you finishing for the year or the month? Keep track of everything because, you know, at the end of the year, if you want to join in, we're adding up all of our savings challenges, any money that's coming in, income in your household, anything, and seeing how much money actually comes in during the whole year, okay, that we don't pay attention to. We just think, oh, blah, 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 but like coupons, you know, how much did you save? That's the income that's left with you. That came back to you. How much are you saving on gas? Okay, if it's five cents or three cents, uh, mine's five cents because I upped it to the Pro Series on there. So I get five cents at least off a gallon. So when I fill up and I need that, that's an extra few, you know, change in my pocket. Okay, for the week, or if I had to do it again, that's more. But that's going to add up during the year. No, it may not be very much, but you know what? Every little bit counts, whether you're doing change or not doing change. Everything counts. So add that up. Maybe you got savings off of your cell phone. Maybe they gave you, they took money off. Well, that means what you didn't pay, right? So put it on in there, you know. Maybe you signed up for the auto plan, and they're taking $20, $30 off, I don't know. And that's extra money for the year. Okay, 20 times 12. There you go. There you go. You didn't have to pay it, right? Right. So add up everything that's coming to you. If you're on a program like Fetch, like I am, or all the other ones, you know, some, I, I, I don't want a whole lot of them. Okay, I just deal with Fetch. But if you're on some of those things and getting money back or whatever, add them up. Okay, if you got a discount with Amazon or you get an Amazon gift card, how much is the gift card? Is it $10? Is it $5? Is it $25? That's money came to you. If I send you money on on my cash app or something and I sent you $50, that's money you didn't have. Okay, so add it up because we are not going to do this. We're going to add everything up and figure out how much is actually coming in a year. And I think some of you will be surprised you didn't even check. You got more money coming in than probably your even even rest of your paycheck that you could add it to it. So let's see what we get in. And you don't have to tell me at the end of the year. You can email me or you don't have to tell me. You can just say, yeah, Casper Mama, I went over. I did it. I got it. And, and, you know, get that abundant wealth check. You can get it out of my, you know, store, Casper Mama Art. Or you can make your own. I don't care. I say a blessing over everybody that has an abundant wealth check every morning. Okay, so whatever it is, if you made it, your kids made it, whatever. Okay, so here we go. It is Friday. I don't know when you're going to see this video because YouTube is having a party by itself and always has. So that's okay. All right. So the day is Friday and I'm doing Frugality is Life. Her savings challenge book that I tore up <laughs> and I laminated because I wanted to keep it. <laughs> I should just buy another one be nice. Right, <laughs> right, Fiona, right, Fiona. And there are some powerhouses on there. She's one of them. I call them powerhouses. They're thinking about their money. They're adding up their money. Okay. And, you know, frugality is life. I desire wealth or I desiree wealth. You know, she's kind of like me. Every time you see a bill, you just go after it, paying it. That's what I did last year. I was just like, oh, I got $500 extra. Let me pay that off. Let me pay that off. Okay. And so she's come a long way. You know, these people you need to watch and follow some of them. You know, Armani Budgets, you know, she does good. There's a lot of people on there that have just got through there. They're going, you know, Brit Brittany budgets and things. 
another powerhouse, Miss Boss herself with the money. Okay, she's just like, I paid this off, I paid this off. And then Miss Saving Challenge Queen, Judy, saving with Judy. <laughs> she can move through some saving challenges too, but a lot of you can. I can't think of any more names because I'll be here all day. But a lot of you can. I am so proud of some of you. Yes, some of the people need to be kicked in the butt and get up and let's go. Okay, we're in the community. Let's go. And we are here if you need some help. But what I do is I just pull some out today that I'm going to go through. Yes, they're messy. I'm not an artist. And um, I put them in here. I found this. And and then there's different parts in here, but there's the, you know, the regular 5000 And I just added her stuff into here so that I know where it is, the money. So we got the 5000 50 you know me i keep doing i redo these this stuff over and over again and there's one there so i'm just adding money to it this is the big one so i take that money and i'm adding it to that you add the savings challenge to the other in there and i'm not filling this up you know what i found out i don't like my money being up so i'm, I'm not even doing that <laughs> not doing it at all and then this one this is the one i started with her but any challenge that I make and then I got the new little ones I stuck them in there with that too so it's helping all that is helping this uh binder that I got and out of my Christmas box remember that Christmas box it's still full it I will be five years before it gets it'll be time for Christmas again but anyway this is on Amazon from frugality is life my book of savings challenges and so many and not so many savings, it says. So here we go. We're just going to go through and I'm just going to mark and I'm going to add how much I have to add on in there. So today we're going to do, let's get rid of 13, yeah, 13 and 14. So 13 plus 14, that'll be $27 on there today. And I'll mark this for that. Okay, we won't do that one yet. Okay, this one I've been working on. I didn't color that one in. So let's do, I'll uh, get rid of 13s. 13 and, what's up here? Low. Oh, I didn't do the ice cream top. Maybe I should fin finish that. 13 and 12. Plus 13, plus 12. So we have $52 here. We're not going to do this till more fall. And I finished that one. <clears throat> See, I got a lot done. Ring that bell. Okay, make sure everything, yep, we did quite a few. Okay, let's do two of these. One, two. And that'll be 20. Did I write this one down? So this will be, what did I say, 20, 25, 12, and 13 is 25. Okay, dollars. The Butterfly Dreams, and this is Christmas on the back. I may hold that for a minute. Okay, right here we need our dice. We'll take the bigger dice today. We'll be nice. 15. So this will be $15 today. And I didn't put the $20 on there. So right now we're at $87. I didn't start that one. Okay, for this one, I'm going to put $10. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8, 9, 10. And the flowers, I still haven't colored them in. Busy, busy bee, plus I left. So $10 here for flower power. I'm a flower power. I could finish this one. And this one be 25. Okay, so we'll be done with this one. So we said 10 and 25, 10, 25, that'll be 35, I did. Okay, so there you go, 35. I put it over here, not way over there, so I remember. Okay, we got we can do two sets of flowers. 
So we'll do 10. This is unusual. 10. I like that. So that'll be $20. Okay. Let me check my money here. Check my money. Ooh. Okay, we'll do one, two of these. That'll be $10. Okay. The thing on the back. We'll do one heart. And that'll be $20. Let's see what else I got. Let's do, let's see, 182. So let's do one and two. That'll be $3. We'll do Halloween later. Okay, we'll do two of these. One, two, that'll be $6 today. animals since there's two of them we'll do ten dollars and i put the number there okay the walk in the park we'll do one because that's twenty dollars <throat> over here we'll do we haven't started that one yet so we'll just hold off Okay, this one, I like this one already. I don't know which one I want to do. I like this one. So, let's see. Choose three categories. I did that. And then roll the dice and take turns going up the ladder. So, we'll do each ladder. And we'll see what we get. Okay, here we go with the number thing again. I think that's a six. No, it's a nine. No, it's a six. No, it's a nine. No, it's a nine. I see it now. So that one's nine, the sinking funds. This one is the expenses will be 15. And this one will be 12 for any for the car and the house. Yeah, I like that. I like that frugality. All right. So that'll be 12 plus 15 plus nine equals, so that's 200. And fifty-seven dollars today. All right. So I will get that together and transfer that into my book over here. I don't know if I brought my pink thing. I guess it doesn't have to be pink, right? Two hundred and fifty-seven dollars I'll be putting over here. So should I put it back here? I kept this all pink. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to do it. Did you come out of here? No. I took the tab off of it. Because, you know, remember my hand sometimes is like, no, don't, don't, don't touch me. So we had $257. Do they have that number here? I see 56. 256. And there's no one on that one. What I got over here. Let's check. We will check. Oh, I got a one there. So that one can get finished there. So we'll do this one. We got 257. So there's the one. And over here, we'll do the 256 today. There we go. We're making progress, progress, okay? Not looking at the overall thing, just making progress. So, here we go. Hope you have a lovely weekend if I don't get to see you. I want you don't compare yourself, okay? Focus on what you're doing, what you're spending. You know, think of some more tips for not spending. That I gave you some, so you can kind of start thinking about what are you actually doing, okay? And also remember when you go to the grocery store, look down, okay? Because your cheaper things are on the bottom. And the companies pay for that middle part where your eyesight is. They pay to be there. They just don't put them there, that stuff there. They pay to be in your line of sight, and usually that's the higher things and then up above, kind of medium. But look down at the bottom, you know, if you got to get unbrand stuff, 
you know, get some recipes together, you know, beef it up, do something with it to make it taste better. Because I know my kids can tell unbrand stuff. But, you know, it's right now we're saving and the stores know it. And you notice all the deals coming out. They're coming out soon with a bunch of deals. The stores and stuff. So kind of hold back a little bit because you want to have a little money, right? They're coming out, the the stores like the, you know, like you're talking about Target and all that stuff with Target's got a lot of food discounts coming and just different places to go. So kind of hold it back so you have some money during that time because maybe you can stock up on some things, okay? So I want you to have a great time, great day. Feel that you're going to do whatever you're going to do. Don't compare yourself with anybody. Don't compare to me at all or anybody else. You do the best that you can do. And remember, you do your budget. Okay, we're not in charge of your budget. We don't know what's going on else in your house. Okay, like you don't know what else is going on over here that could be going on that I didn't say anything about. Okay, unless I spill the beans about something, although truly nothing's going on. We're working all the time, so nothing's happening. But either way, I want you to take care of yourself. I'm praying for you. Bless you. Bless you for listening. Take care of yourself. If you listen today, I'm sending you all the blessings so that you have a great time, a great weekend, just a great life, okay? So take care. Bye-bye.